Hi guys, just Paul here, and today I want to be talking to you about um, making real lasting change because we can do all the right things with the diet and the exercise, and it doesn't matter how much effort you're putting in there if you're not changing your thoughts sooner or later, or it'll cancel out all that hard work you've put in. Um, you've probably heard the saying before if you can believe it, you can achieve it, and it is never more true than when we're trying to change our body. Um, it's hard, you know, you've probably tried millions of things in the past and sooner down that line, you hit a brick wall and you end up to square one again. Uh, as I say, it doesn't matter. You could be somebody who puts in all the effort, but deep down, you're telling yourself that you're not worth it or you're too fat or you don't deserve that body. And if you don't believe that you can achieve it, then it certainly will not happen. So I want to focus today in this video more of the mindset, the the mental aspect of training, of of you know, of attaining that result that we're trying to achieve. So um, what I want you to first start with is at the bottom. Here we've got beliefs. Okay, so I want you to start thinking about what your beliefs are. Um, you know, because all we all we are guys are trillions and trillions of cells that are communicating with each other through our thoughts and our hormones. Okay, thoughts will release you know hormones into the body, which dictate which way our health is going to go. Um, so you you really if you are somebody that holds on to a lot of negative energy, negative thoughts, bad feelings, you are somebody that's going to make yourself sick. Okay, sooner or down the line, and the first, um, you know, the, the first ladder uh, or the the first effect of that happening is gaining weight. Um, you know, if we're if we're holding on a, a lot of negative energy, whether it's you know some, some it's a bad trauma that happened five years ago or, or last last week or or just now, if we're holding on to that, the only person it's affecting is you. Um, and, and weight gain is just one of those effects. So I know, I know that's something that a lot of us can kind of like, um, you know, all, all the shit that happens in, 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 in life. I know that's something that we can all resonate with or connect with. Um, so you've got to start with, with your beliefs and what these messages that you're sending out to your body because your beliefs are going to affect your attitude, okay, your mindset, how your perspective is on things, okay? And then from your attitude comes your actions and your behavior, okay? So just from the beliefs of, you know, what we say about ourselves moves our attitude and how we, we feel about things. And then that, in turn, affects the attitudes, the way we go about seeing things. And it is then the behavior that ultimately, ultimately brings us our result, okay? So, for example, if you, you're constantly sending out these beliefs that you're fat, you're always going to be this way, you're not worth, you know, wearing a size 10 dress or whatever it may be for you, your subliminally or your subconscious mind is constantly sending out messages say, you know, let's go and eat a slice of cake, let's go back to our old ways. I want you to think about a car, a broken down car. Now, if you've got, you know, a broken down car, you, we patch it up, okay? But sooner or down that line, that car is going to have another problem, another problem, another problem. We have to keep patching it up, keep fixing things. Instead of getting a new car that will start us on a fresh journey again, we keep patching up the old one that keeps you know, breaking down on us. And your beliefs are very much just like this, okay? So instead of patching up your old beliefs, I want you to start reinforcing a new set of beliefs that you are worth it, that, you know, Although there's fat on occupying on your body right now, you're going to tell yourself you're not that fat person. Inside is that body that you want, and you're starting to believe that body again. You're start, starting to believe in yourself again that you can be that person. And with those beliefs, your attitude starts changing, okay? So if you start sending out the right beliefs, your attitude will then start to change, which means if you're seeing things differently, you don't have to just pull your mood up and pull yourself together or anything like this because your attitude, your perspective is in the right channel, okay? We're seeing things in the, the correct way, okay? Which then means our behavior is going in the direction that we want it to go, 
okay? So all of a sudden we're not skipping workouts or we're not eating that slice of cake. Now this is very, very easy for me to explain uh, and say, but how do, for, for example, let's start with the result. That person that's lean, that's looking great, that's exactly the body that we want to achieve, okay? How do we actually get from beliefs to results, the actual result that we want to achieve? Well, the best way for you to do it with your life is to reverse engineer it. So start, instead of starting down here at beliefs and looking at what your beliefs are, let's look at the result, the person, that body, that physique that we want to be, or whatever goal it is that we want to achieve, and then just sit down and think, okay, what would this person do? What would their behavior be? Okay, so what would this person's behavior be? Would they be skipping workouts? I don't think so, okay? Would they be eating a slice of chocolate cake after their meal? I don't think so, I think they're gonna opt in for a glass of water instead, okay? Um, and then once we can start reverse engineering, you know, from the result, what their behavior is, then we can look at their attitude, okay? Are they gonna wake up in a positive attitude? Are they gonna think that everything's and everybody's against them? Okay, or are they going to start thinking a lot more positive about their self, their body, happy thoughts? Okay, are they going to start thinking that kind of attitude and looking on a positive aspect with something? And from there, that's where our beliefs start to change. So we start with the result, and then we start doing, looking at the behavior and doing that behavior. We, and then we start with the attitude, all of a sudden, our beliefs can start to change again. Okay, and then you can look at what beliefs you need to have for that, that to achieve that result, that body, okay? So um, the, the beliefs, you're not gonna be telling yourself that you're fat and that you're ugly because you're doing all these steps in the right way anyway, okay? You're doing the behavior right, just as the, the guy with the result's doing, and your attitude is just, as like, uh, just exactly the same as the guy with the result. So all of a sudden, you can start believing in yourself. You're doing everything, you're ticking every box. Now you can start believing in yourself, and all of a sudden, now that we can believe in ourselves, we're not going to keep putting ourselves down or setting ourselves back or going back to square one after, you know, um, achieving some results and then going back to the old ways. Because as I say, guys, just like a broken down car, if you keep patching it up, eventually it's going to break down again. So set yourself some new beliefs and uh, see some long lasting change, guys. Let me know your comments. You, you enjoyed watching this video. I'd love to hear back from you. Um, you know, it's, it's, as I say, it's never easy. Um, and like I've been saying all this week, guys, this is you. And this is your comfort zone. And in that, here is your result. That's you. That's your comfort zone, the big circle. And that is your result. Okay? Now, if you stay confined to this comfort circle, you know, what you like, what you enjoy doing, what feels nice, that safety, that comforting feeling, then you're not going to get to that result that's over there. Get out of here. That's where all the growth, that's where all the change, that's where all the results happen. Um, keep remembering that, guys. And uh, let me know what you thought of this video. Really appreciate it. Put a thumbs up on it. And, uh, and please, by all means, share it as well, guys. Keep up the great work.